Miss Dower here. Today we're going to review benchmark fractions because we're going to use them in our problem solving. So I've written down some fractions and what we're going to do is together we're going to decide if it is closest to zero, closest to one half, or closest to one whole. So looking at my first one, nine out of ten. Nine is almost 10. So I can tell that that fraction is closest to the benchmark one. Let's move on to the next one. Six out of 13. Now, in my head, I can do double six. And I know that six out of 12 is equal to a half. So I can say that this fraction, six out of 13, is closest to one half. The next one, seven out of nine. Seven out of 14 would give me a half and nine is not that close to 14. So I don't think it's closest to a half, but seven is almost nine. So I can say that this is closest to one whole. The last one, two out of 10. Now, five out of 10, would give me a half and 10 out of 10 would give me a whole. So two out of 10 is pretty little. So I'm gonna say that this is closest to the benchmark zero. I hope this review was helpful.